Hey, I wanted to make this quick training of why you should use click magic uh, when you're purchasing solo ads. Um, and uh, uh, a lot of people, you might not have heard of click magic or you might not even know why you might need this. Um, and so you might just like, oh, I don't need click magic and you go ahead and skip this step. Uh, and it's not even just solo ads. Uh, this is gonna be any of your paid advertising. Um, so click magic is a link tracker. So you're able to track um, individual, uh, we're actually using it, if, uh, I'm using it for individual clicks on the link to be able to track how much I'm spending to how much I'm actually generating in revenue. Um, and so um, what, what I'm doing is I just set up this new Click Magic account and uh, I've been running solo ads for probably about a, like a, a, you know, about two weeks now. And, uh, and um, you could see is I've purchased uh, clicks from a couple different areas, right? So uh, um, we're gonna go with this very first top one. I, I purchased 5,000 clicks and uh, they, they uh, obviously haven't delivered and they sent me a whole bunch of flag clicks and nobody signed up. All right, so um, pretty much I'm able to see right here that this guy is a, it's a scam, right? I don't want to, I never want to order from this guy again. I'm probably gonna get my money back, right? And then I went on a Fiverr and I was like, hey man, like I'm gonna order for Fiverr and I, I, I added some links. Uh, there's these just six dollar traffic and uh, this is your total clicks this is unique clicks so this is actual visitors and this is flag clicks and then this is your action so for me these are all email opt-ins and um, so this is kind of how you read this chart and uh, then over here is your cost per action so this is the actual cost per it so f this person said they had a 5,000 audience they sent it out I got some clicks they got two people sign up some of them were flag clicks but nonetheless that cost me three dollars right because I only got two actions, two email signups, right? Um, and so that that was a $6 purchase. Um, and so uh, probably won't buy from that guy again. Uh, and this guy, this guy said he had a 20,000 email list and uh, he sent it out. This was actually, I didn't get no flag clicks, uh, unique clicks. So uh, he gave me 125 clicks. So I did get clicks from him and I got five opt-ins, which is cool. Uh, and uh, that's five emails. And uh, my cost per click per, per action was a buck 20. Um, so that's how much I spent. I spent six dollars total. Got five email opt-ins, and that's a five uh, um, uh, right here. And actually, in Click Magic, you're actually able to um, inside right here. You could edit this link, right? And so you could actually put in the cost, right? This traffic cost me this many, this much dollars, right? Six dollars. And so each one of these actually has a cost inside um, inside. Uh, that you could add in. So you're actually able to track how much you're actually generating, right? And so this one you could see purchase from Fiverr, another one, just spam clicks, don't really wanna order those guys, all right? And so now if we go down to when you start going to like more reputable sites like Udemy, you're able to actually uh, buy, buy reputable sites, see what people are doing, all right? And so, um, so here was one of my ones. I purchased this uh, February 16th from Mark and I bought 100 clicks and uh, he, he delivered 135 total clicks, but unique clicks 130. So he over delivered by 30%, which is cool because I just did a 100 uh, click test. And uh, his flag clicks, uh, he got four, no big deal because he made up for them, he delivered. And uh, the actions, he got 33 email opt-ins, right? So that was a pretty good rate. And out of that, um, it cost me that traffic um, per, per email, that was a buck 18. Right, so that was a good deal. That was probably actually one of my better ones um, that I've ran, uh, which was from this guy, Mark. Um, and so that was really cool. And then, uh, so this is another one that's, this is in the process of going right now. He's just been, uh, it took a little while to deliver, no big deal. Um, however, uh, sometimes I, you know, I appreciate the guys that deliver fast because I'm trying to, uh, to split test all the time. You know, I'm trying to get stuff moving, but it's kind of cool when uh, I forget about them and, uh, and then all of a sudden I get, I get some clicks coming. And so far this guy has some good opt-in rates. I ordered a hundred clicks from, him. he's only delivered 25, but I've got nine people. Um, and so this is a good uh, percentage so far. So uh, if I could see this whole entire percentage through all of his list, this this should be a pretty, uh, should be one of my better ones. Um, so we're gonna keep seeing. Uh, Nicole, she ended up not going through with my clicks because I was using Click Magic. If you get a solo ad vendor that says, hey, I don't use Click Magic, don't use the solo ad vendor, all right? Because here's what's gonna happen. You're not gonna use that solo ad vendor and then they're gonna, like I paid, I paid $125 for these 5,000 clicks. And uh, if I wouldn't have used this, I would have never have known uh, because they register on my ClickFunnels account or on my analytics, they register of clicks, right? So I could see that they brought clicks, but no one's, no one's buying. So I think that there's something wrong with my site. 
but the reality is they're just delivering spam clicks and so it's it's really really important for you to have this because you're able to see hey look like dude you sent me crap traffic give me my money back or don't I don't want to do business with you and if you're not able to track this stuff that is a big 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 deal so you really really want to be able to track this so um, definitely spend the time of researching and getting this set up all right and then so even with Umar you could see uh, you know I uh, same thing you know uh, he was one of my first ones and uh, he was a little higher you know and so I could see based off of this that even though he delivered right and I still got opt-ins like uh, even this one right here William uh, he delivered a um, it was a hundred and he over delivered by 10% which is really cool most people do um, flag clicks no big deal because I'm not paying for those and uh, these are just the unique clicks that I'm paying for and then the actions 36 right so even though I got more email opt-ins with him uh, so it, it might surface level look like uh, um, you know hey this guy was better however the cost per action so the cost per my email is a buck 42 so I'm paying an extra third like 20 cents or so just for having this guy even though I think this guy would be giving me more because he delivered more leads but that's very misleading considering this guy has a, has a cost per lead as a lot lower so I'm able to spend my money wisely based off these decisions you're able to easily be able to determine your cost per click your cost per action and uh, with click magic it's not just like email leads that you're able to track however that's kind of what I'm tracking right now with this you're able to track sales you know and so this will import all your data you're able to see your ROI as you start making money you're able to start like inputting putting uh, in here um, who's starting to pay you off right so you're able to track who's bringing you sales from these clicks right so if this person brought me sales um, you could enter it in the sales um, which is going to be uh, let's see add import revenue so you're able to track your ROI on these links to know if one, someone's profitable so uh, that's click magic I would highly 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 recommend you getting it set up before you ever bring any paid traffic and this goes with Facebook ads too right like Facebook ads you might not know uh, if one Facebook ad is getting you higher opt-in rates because you're bringing a whole bunch of traffic to your site and you're not really tracking the individual links and so this is going to give you the, abil the ability to track the individual links to know which ones are profitable and which ones you should scale um, because uh, without this you're not able to really scale and this is kind of uh, if you're at this step about ready to bring traffic to your site or uh, bringing traffic to your site stop before you get this set up um, click magic is amazing I don't think I'll ever uh, not use it uh, before I'm gonna go actually I'm gonna show you another thing that somebody else taught me uh, that is probably one of my favorite things I have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, um, individual um, individual uh, like um, affiliates that affiliate companies that I'm with you know and, and a lot of times I, I can't like if I'm out and about and someone's like hey man what's your affiliate code for that book you know uh, for uh, you know dot com secrets or something like along those lines um, if I don't really uh, I'm, not, I'm not out and I don't really remember it um, sometimes uh, I I'll kind of miss that opportunity right so this kind of gives you a cool way once you have your link set up here you're able to tell people um, you know your uh, your links and so it's really cool you could just send them over here so like for uh, like for um, like when I was talking about dot com secrets right so for dot com secrets one of my links is tiny link dot site right and now I just tell some, someone tiny link dot site slash dot com secrets and it's gonna go to my affiliate link for uh, for dot com secrets you know and so that's really cool and that's really helpful for when you're out and about um, but that's just like a bonus um, totally just a bonus uh, the main goal is to do those tracking with your solo ads and um, this is really where uh, you're able to see if you're profitable and, and, and um, if you're making money so uh, I hope this helped and uh, heck yeah traffic gods rocket man